certified street Yo, check this out. This is Chris, and this is my next best thing update. All right. You know how they use the iMac Pro Tools, you know what I'm saying? What Pro Tools is using uh, the iMac back in 2005, I guess, when they invented it. This is like the old school former, you know what I'm saying, using the technology that Pro Tools or that the Mac had to use. Back in the days, it was all cool, you know what I'm saying, because everybody jumped on it. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed it. I actually was looking forward to doing it. But... The MacBook Pro came out, which made it like a mobile form of a recording. Like, you can take this MacBook, like, anywhere and record as long as everybody had the right setup. All right. The MacBook Pro, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, set it out the way everybody can do what they want to do on the go, on the road, like, on, on wheels. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? And then after that, I figured, you know what I'm saying, like, boom. All right, I'm going to present the next best thing, which is boom. Pro Tools on iPad and the tablet, which is going to give the people the ability to sit inside the booth and record it without going in and out. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of them, every time they mess up, they got to go back out. Then they got to come back in just because they messed up. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, I mean, when this come out, which is the new invention uh, to me for new technology, which is going to be some real big. People going to be record. it's going to be something like real, I mean real big, get what I'm saying? And to end this off, I would like to say, hey, I'm looking forward to recording off of it. Like, as soon as I get it, y'all know. My name is Ron Thomas, and this is my segment on The Next Big Thing. Imagine working with the rapper, the producer, the arranger, the singer, all at the click of a button. We'll get ready. Virtual Studios is the next big thing. This will be a great idea because sometimes we run into people who say, I want to work with you. Your beats are hot. You can sing. But then that thing never really happens because they didn't meet it in the first place. Well, I find a lot of times that you can meet good people online. Not only that, some of these people are actually good at what they do. So let's say, let's say for instance, you lack in mixing and mastering, but you're good at beats. Well, you meet somebody online who's really good at mixing and mastering, but they don't have beats. So you guys can barter via Wi-Fi, get in the same virtual studio and mash out a hit right there. And you don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. You don't even have to have all the equipment because everything's on the virtual studio. Just how, you know, uh, Reason works. Reason works the same way. Uh, it mimics different uh, studio equipment. I think it's gonna be a great idea. We all know where the music industry has been and what emerging technologies are here now and on the horizon. But what does the future hold? We have the Call of Death touchscreen DJ console that seems to be growing in popularity and its ease of use makes any DJ the mastery of their music collection. As you noticed, that person was manipulating sounds of music with what looked like bionic arms attached to his arms. What happens when this technology is combined with the holodesk technology? Like the touchscreen in Minority Report, it can have tons of interesting applications ranging from DJs that pull music from the air, and with a few more hand ways manipulate them together, 
and also to producers and sound engineers that seem to look like they're waving to a friend or playing the air keyboard at a musical masterpiece as well. It's some food for thought. I will leave you with that and a musical quote. The musical quote is from a trance artist called DJ Edgar V and his song Science Fiction. The quote is, the DJ is floating in the middle of a crowd and with telepathy he is feeling what people want to hear, what touches their soul. He always chooses the right tune. This, my friends, is science fiction. My name is Denoris Pittman, and I feel the next big thing in the music industry is projection or hologram performances. Last April at Coachella 2012, fans were surprised to learn that late rapper Tupac Shakur would be a part of the show. This was made possible using a high definition projector aimed at a reflective surface on the stage floor. The images projected then bounce off onto a mylar surface angled to reflect the image but leaves the mylar invisible for the audience, creating the hologram effect. This entire show was orchestrated by super producer Dr. Dre, who recently told TMZ that he's re-engineering this idea to take it from a two-dimensional to a three-dimensional performance. From a fan's perspective, this could mean performances from Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley, The Beatles, Sam Cooke, James Brown, even Frank Sinatra is subject to have a performance in the near future. From a business perspective, uh, the possibilities are endless from tours to merchandise, even pay-per-view events. Either way you look at it, one thing involved is money. 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 Which is why I feel the next big thing in the music industry is projected or hologram performances. <laughs>